Yo, what's good, man? So before we start this video, I do want to say this, y'all. It is okay to have a losing day, all right? I know with pocket options, it's like you feel like you got to win every day, have a winning day every day, but honestly, it's unrealistic, kind of to an extent. Like, I, I've gone, like, weeks and weeks without having a loss, but if you are having a losing day and the day is just starting out terrible, just have a losing day and come back the next day because that revenge trading is, is a boy. It'll have your account toe up, you know what I'm saying? So, I want to look at this trade right here. I already had it pre-marked up, so... um. I'm going to show y'all what it looked like on the N15 and why I'm going to take it. So look at this. N15, stochastic is super high. Anytime the stochastic is high on the larger time frames, you know that drop going to be mean with it. You know what I'm saying? So it's already coming back to a previous zone. So I feel like we will reject again, and then it probably will go back up later. But we already getting there. So if I come to the M5, I'm looking like, yeah, we about to touch. So I got four entries, right? So with the four entry rule, you wanna make sure you get your entries as precise as possible. So the best way to do that is to get in as close to the, the next zone that is about to hit as possible. So right now, I could low key get in for a sale close to the zone, or I could just wait to hit the zone. But that's gonna give you the most accurate uh, you know, reading. I don't wanna do 650, hold on, let me go to 100. I think we already selling now, so I'm gonna do I'm gonna do two of them. Now, this is my first entry, right? Two hundred dollars. My second entry, if it continues to go up, I might get in right close to the zone. All right, and then third entry and fourth entry, if it like passed the zone, but we'll see. You know what I'm saying? But right now, I'm kind of confident in it dropping because you notice the zigzag already formed this way. And it has to push the candles down this way eventually to, to form another zigzag, which I think the the pullback might be somewhere around in here before it go back up. You know what I'm saying? So, the, but if you look at this right now, you'd be like, yo, it's an uptrend already on the M1, so why would you be selling? Because you could do that when you know what you're doing. You know what I'm saying? You can counter trend trade. Uh, not recommended for newbies if you don't really know, but, you know, wait on the pullback. You could buy here and go up. But I like to be a little, you know, a little rebel sometimes, you know what I'm saying? Go against the grain. So I lost those two. Cool. I got three entries left, though. So I'm going to wait because that was just a terrible entry. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to wait. Let it push up some more. And then I'm going to smack them over the head with about 400 and Yeah, I'm going to just do a $400 trades. Boom. So now I know that since we didn't drop right there, we got to be dropping somewhere here in this zone. So now I'm going to wait. And let it see how far it push up. And then we're going to try to catch it again. And that's how you trade. You don't just rush it here and get back in and here and get back in here. No, no, no. You wait. You say, okay. You don't want to go down right there. But I know you're pushing to the zone. So I could actually buy and catch it a little bit on five seconds all the way to the zone. But that's next level stuff right there. You know what I'm saying? You could just keep buying that mug on up to hit and then sell them. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's, that's next level. But, yeah, let me see. We getting close. Now, another thing you could do, if that one minute ain't ain't long enough and you like, eh, take it too long, you can hit them with the three minutes or the two minutes or the five minutes. You know what I'm saying? So sometimes, if we get close to that zone, we about to hit it. And now I'm about to smack them over the head with my second entry. Go on, keep pushing. Yes, sir. One, two, three, four. About five. I mean, my, I done went a little crazy on the tapping. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, 500. All right, we did 500 on a two minute trade. You know what I'm saying? Give it time to turn around. Now, if it continue to go up, I'm going to throw up. <laughs> I'm going to be cooked. You hear me? Yeah, so we're going to watch this mug. You feel me? We're going to watch how this play out. And we're going to see if we're going to get this paper or not. You feel me? It's only going to go one of two ways. He decided he want to keep going up. And guess what I'm going to do? Bust him over the head again. But I know the drop is coming, bro. Everything's starting to line up. Stochastic, signals lining up. I mean, it's only right, bro, that we get, we get this paper. Now, you know OTC can play around with your paper. So, you know, if they like, look, we ain't giving you nothing, then I'm salty. But for the most part, you know, they, they, still, they still let me do my thing. So... But you can see the analysis so far has been correct. 
Yeah, been correct. That two minute trade. So we'll see how long that lasts, though, because we could get a nice retracement and turn me up. But I think we might be all right. Let's see. Only got like 24 seconds left, and we still pushing down. So, so far, so good, bro. No panic over here. Until it uh, push back through at the last few seconds, I'm going to throw up. <laughs> I'll pass out. Oh, see what I'm talking about? Oh, OTC be firing me up. Oh, snap. Oh, at the last few seconds, what I said. That's all right, man. That's all right. All right, now I'm sick of it, bro. Don't try this at home, children. I'm done, though, after this. This is my last trade, because that was what? When they do that, bro, I'll be, I be smacking. I'm done after this, though. This is my last entry. Even though this is the third one, it's going to be a big one, so I'm willing to risk a lot. You know what I'm saying? I'm done. I am done. One more push and I'm in there. Two more minutes. Watch. Boom. Oh, snap. It made me do 3,000. But I promise you I'm going to get it. How much you want to bet? How much you want to bet I'm going to get it? I don't play no games, bro. I ain't even nervous, bro. I'm so confident in this trade. Why? Because everything lined up, man. And if they play me on this, then I'm done trading forever. You're, nah. <laughs> uh, only trade money you can afford to lose. I'll say that. So far, so good. You know what I'm saying? We looking good. But you know, you got to risk it to get that what? Biscuit. Now, they already bopped me upside my head. But this is my last entry, though, so I can't enter nothing else, even though no matter how high I go. But I told you I'm going to win it. Watch. I told you I'm about to win it, bro. The market, let me show you something, bro. The market is just it's too high on the N15, bro. There's no way. If y'all keep going up, y'all capping. Look at the N15. N15 getting weak. they like, bro, we can't push up no more. We can't keep stealing these people money. You got to drop. What I told you, you got to drop, bro. Look at that. Confidence is key. Now, if you retrace on me at the end, I'm cutting the camera off. I'm walking out of here, bro, because I'm sick of it. Now, y'all remember what I said at the beginning? It's okay to have a losing day. So you might see one today. <laughs> you might see one. I got 20-some seconds left. Let's see how we do. I think we straight, though. Yeah, we got this, bro. We got this money in the bank. Money in the bank. See how confident I was? I told you it was going. I told you. Now, I do this from time to time. I don't do this all the time. Because most of the time, my entries be popping. But let's look at the results. Be my money. 9,400. Stop playing with me, bro. Sometimes you got to risk it for the biscuit. But I told myself, look, that was only three entries. But since they were so big, couldn't go no more. Now, look at the drop, though. See what I'm saying? Confidence. I knew eventually at this zone, it rejected last time, but it just went a little above the zone, as I'm going to show you right here. We went a little above the zone. See, last time we rejected here with a fat drop. This one went above the zone, half a candle came back down, and he going to come on through. See what I'm saying? What happens to the left happens to the right. They just tried to fake me out right there and made me go crazy on the charts. But you see what we did, though. You know what I'm saying? Stop playing with me in these streets. All right, now look. Now, the next time y'all get on these charts, bruh, have a goal in mind. I kind of just played around on here just today. You know what I'm saying? It was kind of fun to do, go a little risky. I ain't been that risky in a minute. I be kind of being conservative. But just get on here, man, have fun. You know, enjoy it. Don't, you know, mess your account up or nothing. But just, if you come in here with a cool head, you got multiple streams of income, you could do that because it's like, you know what I'm saying? We chilling. I got multiple streams. So if I blow my account today, which I'm not, I, I'm good. I can still pay my bills. I can still travel. You know what I'm saying? Because I didn't taught y'all how to do it. You know what I'm saying? With the credit and all that. So you're going to be good either way. You feel me? Now, look, after I don't go that risky. Let me tell y'all something about the credit card stuff, too. So I don't go that, like when I'm trading with my credit card, I don't go that risky until after I made the money back to pay the card off. Then I'll go risky on the rest of it. You know what I'm saying? So. If I take fifteen hundred off a card and I grow it, then I once I make fifteen hundred, I put it back on the card, and then boom, you know what I'm saying? Then I could be risky with the rest. 
I'm saying? But see, this is where that OTC stuff kick in. Now you can see that mug retracing all the way back up. But we already made our bread, so we straight. Oh, now you come back down. But yeah, man, that's the that's the end of the video today. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you gotta see me risk it for the biscuits. Sometimes, you know what I'm saying? That the trades go right in. But at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying? You stick to the rules though. Three, the four entry rule, you stick to the rules and you apply it. Man, look, you should be good. Take your time, let the trades come to you. Don't rush it. Wait till his zones and enter. And uh, I think you're going to be straight, man. You know what I'm saying? But honestly, some of y'all, I'm proud of y'all because y'all been raising y'all uh, amount that y'all trading. Some of y'all was doing $5 trades. Now you're doing $20 trades. Some of y'all was doing $20 trades. Now you're up to, to like $80 trades. And your account is growing a little faster. Just gradually taking your time. You know what I'm saying? So much love, though. Lord willing. You know, I'll see you on another video. Seek Jesus. He the only way. I'm going to holler at y'all. <laughs> Let go. Going in different locations, how they got one, I need some direction Me and Vinci go up every session Cook it up, yeah, you know it's no pressure Yeah, you know how we do what we all in We can slow up and you never catch